Hello everyone. In today's video, we will have a look at the waterfall chart with the breakdown option. Uh, for example, our sales go, over a period, go up over a period of time and we want to find out which product category or subcategory has been contributing the most uh, to this increase or this decline. Uh, we can use this visual. So let's start. I've got this data here with me, which just tells me, uh, so this is the total sales by product category, product subcategory over a period of time. So this is from 2005 to 2008. And I've loaded this data in my Power BI desktop. And just a quick look, I've already created something. We will learn how to go about this. So it says that in 2005, this is the total sales. And in 2006 is increased to this. And this, the reason was that the bike sales went up and by 3,263,000. And then from 2006 to 2007, bikes contributed. And then you have accessories and clothing. And then from 2007 to 2008, though the sales remain the same, the accessories have gone up and the clothing has gone up while bikes have gone down. So let us learn how to uh, quickly build this. I'll just create another page. And I click on the waterfall chart. And then I will just select the total sales in order year. So this just gives me uh, the sales increase. So in 2005, this was the amount. In 2006, this was the amount and over a period of time. But this is not what we are looking for. So we want to see the increase in sales by product category. I'll just select this and put it into the breakdown. And as you can see, it shows us that in 2005, this was the sales. And then the bike sales increased from by this amount from 2005 to 2006 and so on. Now, let us say I also want to look at the amounts so I can go and turn the data label on. So I can see that 3.3 mil and this increased by another 3.3 mil roughly to get to 6.5 million. And from 2006 to 2007, it increased and these were the categories that contributed to it. And as you can see from 2007 to 2008, though the accessories have gone up by 1 million, and clothing has gone up by 1 million. The bike sales have declined by uh, 0.2 million. So there's a net no increase in sales. Let's now have a look at uh, sorting this. So I can go and sort this by order year. So the moment I do this, see 2008 is the it is automatically uh, sorting it in descending order. So it shows us over a period of time how the sales were from 2008 to 2005. Or I could go and say just sort by a product name. And it shows that bikes. And then we could go and sort by total sales again. So I'm just sorting it by English product name and this is how it was looking originally. Now let us say I want to do an additional analysis that I want to see how the product subcategories have been doing. So I can automatically, uh, not automatically, but so I can just go ahead and uh, ensure that my marketing effort is accordingly. So I could take this out and drag the, let's just go back. And I'll just take the English product subcategory. And as you can see here, it is telling me that the sales went up, but a major chunk was because of the increase in sale of road bikes and then mountain bikes. But then from 2006 to 2007, mountain bikes contributed much. And then road bikes, have actually declined. 
and similarly from 2007 to 2008 so this is a very interesting way and you can uh, keep going to the next level and the next level so what i mean is i can take this out and i can just do it on product name and you can see that an interesting anal analysis comes out that which product sales have declined and which product sales have increased so this is one uh, way to visualize and quickly uh, find out which subcategories or what is the reason certain uh, so what is the reason amount is increasing at the end of year or end of a particular timeline or decreasing and uh, I hope you find this video useful. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please uh, click on the subscribe link or the subscribe button and like my channel. Thanks.